received the email invitation for ComfyUI desktop beta testing. Today, let's take a sneak peek together. Since ComfyUrg has already announced that once it stabilizes, they'll no longer maintain the current portable standalone version we've been using. On October 21st, ComfyUrg introduced this version in a press release, describing it as a fully packaged application with a new interface, B1 UI, built on Electron, along with a new manager for managing plugins based on their versions. I applied to join the testing waitlist right away, though it took quite a while to get here. If you're interested, you can still apply now. However, I checked both the email and release page, and there's no restriction on sharing the application, so I'll put the installation file in the description for those who'd like to help with testing and contribute to the open source community. The official release supports Windows, Mac, and Linux, but only the Windows version was provided in the email. It's 247 megabytes in total with a version number of 0.2.10, and x64 indicates 64 bit support. After downloading, click to install. The initial installation follows the system language and shows up in Chinese, but once you start choosing options, it switches to English. Don't worry, just follow along with me. Next, select a folder where models, outputs, and plugins will be stored. It also includes inputs, user configurations, and the Python runtime. If you previously installed Comfy UI, either the portable or web version, you can select the parent directory to reuse models, inputs, outputs, etc. However, the plugin files won't transfer, and mixing environments can cause conflicts. So I don't recommend it. I'm setting up a new folder. After that, Python will automatically be downloaded and configured, with version 3.12.7, a bit higher than the 3.11.9 version in the green installation package I shared before. The PyTorch version is 2.5.1 plus CU121. All required dependencies will be downloaded here, which will take a while. Just PyTorch alone is 2.45 gigabytes. Once done, the installation will be complete, though note that Comfy UI is spread across multiple directories. The one we selected stores the Python environment, models, etc., which is about 4.8 GB. The Comfy UI app itself is installed in this directory and is just around 500 MB. There's also a directory for Electron runtime data. The interface automatically opens after installation. It does look more polished than the web based version in the browser. The default workflow still generates a bottle, but when I click run, it returns an error, no model detected. A file called extra underscore models underscore config dot yaml is in the runtime directory, which we previously modified to set model paths. Don't do that here, though, it could cause errors. Since I'm just testing, I'll copy over the combined flux model. I load the Flux workflow example, which can now auto-download missing models, though I don't need that. Selecting the recently added dev model, and hitting Run. The memory usage and runtime look similar to before. You can view the logs here, no notable difference in speed. With everything running smoothly, let's take a look at plugin installation. The desktop version of Comfy UI comes with a basic manager pre installed, which spares us the old routine of manually installing manager from GitHub after a fresh install. Convenient. Selecting a plugin, Let's go with Advanced Lib Portrait. The new feature here allows you to choose different versions. I generally recommend using Latest since it's a stable, recent version, whereas Nightly is an automated build with the newest features but potentially unstable. I choose Latest and wait. Once installed, Comfy UI needs to restart for the plugin to take effect though the pop-up feels a bit too Windows-style, kind of inconsistent. 
After restarting, you can see the startup logs installing various dependencies. It takes a while. And once done, I clear the current workflow and add an expression editor node. I upload an image of a person, link it to a preview node. and adjust the smile parameter to 0.5. Click Run, and since there's no progress bar, I'm not quite sure where it's at. When it's ready, the smile effect looks great, elegant indeed. Here's a side-by-side -side with the original image. Most plugins, like this one, work smoothly. However, UI-based plugins like the translation plugin need adaptation so I'll skip those for now. Let's check out the settings. They're similar to the previous versions. Themes are supported. So here's my pink theme. The application settings under Comfy Desktop currently include just auto-update. Keybinding settings are now available for system-level shortcuts without browser limitations. To sum up, I think this transition was necessary. Becoming a desktop app with a proper launch icon helps Comfy UI shed its tech geek only label and brings it closer to tools like Photoshop. That said, this version is still in beta, not entirely stable, and missing some features. Occasionally, you'll run into errors that require a restart. Those interested in testing can find the download link in the description. Feel free to report bugs on the forum we can make the open source community even better together. When the desktop version matures, I'll create a full integration package. That's all for today's video. See you next time.